In today's mobility training tip, I will be covering a kind of flow of mobility movement that Steve Maxwell, one of the most uh, respected strength and, strength and conditioning coaches in the world, BJJ Black Belt, and I've been doing a lot of research on strength training, just basic pure, how do you get stronger? And he's one of the pioneers, Dan John is another one of those, and this is an exercise that he literally said, hey Dan John, when you're programming in between uh, doing your stuff with track and field athletes, this is a bang for your buck exercise that you need to implement with your athletes. And if it works for track athletes, guys, it works for any athletes because they are uh, dealing with variables that are very much like, how do I just get faster? How do I get stronger? If it works for track because it's all about time based, it's going to work for any other sport in terms of training fitness variables, okay? So very simple, we're in a normal squat position, feet. You know, if you really have really good knee tracking, you can go straight. I like being in a slight, maybe 30 to 45 degrees. Drop in your squat here. And then you transition into a hinged, like a straight leg deadlift, forward fold, how you want to call it. But notice I'm hinged at the hips. I'm not, my lumbar is flat. I go back to my squat. You can hold a weight like doing a goblet squat or body weight. The chin is tucked, long neck. Transitioning, I like to get my feet straight on this part. Again, my chin is tucked, long neck, hinging at the hips. Going back. And forth. And you can find out what breathing pattern works. I think I kind of like the inhale here. Exhale, fold. It gives me room to push my hips back. But you can toy with it. And notice as you groove this, you'll begin to open up the back of your legs, your hamstring, all the way down to the plantar fascia. You also groove a better squat where you're keeping your feet planted in all four corners, driving those knees out. I like plugging this in, like I'm actually in the midst right now of a strength training workout. You know, I've been doing my squats, my goblet squats, kettlebell swings. I like grooving this type of work in between my sets because it just helps me to, let's think about it this way, if we're looking at a holistic point of view, you want to build yourself as a full, functional, integrated, not only human, athlete, whatever. You got to do hardening works to get you strong and resilient against gravity because gravity weighs on us every day. But then at the same time, you can do softening work such as this in between sets to keep yourself lubricated, to keep yourself loose. Hard and soft, yang, yin, together will balance you out and help you move more freely, be more vital, and perform better in your sport, regardless of what it is. Guys, if you're liking this work, please connect below. I've got a free book for you to check out. Also got some more stuff coming out soon. But give some love to the channel, please. It would mean a lot. Thank you.